Send your arm following straight over the head. Now keep it straight and then you point the hand. Yeah! <laughs> exactly. What's up, guys? So, max effort, upper body. Uh, that's not how you do that machine, but I'm just having some fun. Um, so, first thing, uh, you have a strength piece today. Uh, it's going to be three rounds. It's going to start with three pen lay row, followed by eight shoulder press. Um, so, that's going to be the strict variation. No assistance from the legs, aside from them being rigid throughout the movement, keeping the core tight as well. So, it'll be three, eight, and then two more, or two more rounds of that. So, you'll have some time to build up to a strong working weight for that one. The things that I wanna highlight with this are gonna be the pen lay row. So we saw single arm alternating pen lay row for some heavy work a few weeks ago to kind of prep for this. We developed some of that single arm strength and balance, as well as that balance through the core and the oblique. So today we're gonna to put that to the test. Um, if you've never done a heavy pen lay row, the thing that I want you to be really intentional with this one is to maintain a lot of tension in it and don't generate momentum from your legs or your core. So what I mean by that is when you're in that hinge position and you're set up here, hamstrings are loaded, hips are loaded, core is loaded, back is tight, that weight starts on the ground. I pull it up. The only thing that's moving are my arms, okay, my shoulders. I'm not generating momentum and trying to jerk that weight off the ground or hip it to start it. So um, be really mindful of that. Um, if you have any that do that, just stop your set, kick a little bit of weight off, start over, um, because you're not gonna get stronger from that movement. And it's not gonna really help you make any progress in the upper back or the core. Um, so do it right. Um, and then with the strict press, um, with that one, we've done some higher rep sets. I don't know if we've really seen uh, sets of eight. So for this one, kind of expect your numbers to be a little bit lighter. But big thing, like if we've, we've done triples and things like that, keep the momentum going, go touch and go on your sequential reps. Um, you're gonna use that exact same technique when you get into the Metcon. And so at that Metcon, look to open up big on that one and then look to manage small sets there after where you're hitting fives, maybe tens top. Um, but I would say start with a strong set to chip off as much of those repetitions as you can when you're fresh. And then every time you break, you have your choice of the ski erg, the rower, or the bike. And this is going to be arms only options. So that way we're working a little bit of blood flow to that musculature to really help develop some stamina and build that muscular tissue up. So have fun with it, move well is the main focus today.